So this very simple jig, uh, it could be helpful, like let's say you have to make uh, you know, more than a few J hooks, but not so many that you want to make a, a formal style jig, then this can be very useful for you. If you're just going to make uh, maybe two or three, then you know, just do it over your anvil and that should be fine. But if you got to make if you got to make more than that, and consistency is a key, then this can be pretty useful and uh, pretty simple. So what do we need? Piece of pipe and a pair of vice grips. And with these vice grips, I've just I've eased the edges and took down the serrations just a little bit so it doesn't dig into the to the hot steel so much. So you know what do you have to do then? Just lock the pipe in your vice. And what you can do is, and what I made too, too, is heat this first and then uh, squash this, flatten it so that it won't rotate at all. You know, if you put a lot of pressure on this, this is not very thick wall, of course, that will uh, that'll flatten it enough. And that'll probably, yeah, that'll keep it pretty tight. But I'll probably just, uh, you know, just quickly I'll uh, hammer this or just heat it and, and then uh, flatten it inside of the vise so this won't rotate. So that, that's there. Uh, then you've got your stock. Let's assume that this is a drawn out piece, you know, it's already drawn out and I'm ready to uh, to uh, make that J hook, then what I do is uh, just get it before you, you put the, do go for the final heat, just make sure that you've got the vice grip size right, you know, that it, it'll lock in quickly so this way you, your movements can be pretty quick. And so then you just uh, heat this stock, lock it in, and then just rotate it around. And there you go. So yeah, let me give it a try and we'll see how it turns out. I want to give a very big shout out to Donald C. Henley for his very generous donation and for his multiple purchases. Thanks a lot. I squeezed a little too much of this short section of pipe and so it tapered the rounded end. But all this means is that after I form a hook, after I form something over it, I'll just have to take one heat to uh, straighten it out to get it all back into one plane not a big deal. One other thing is if you heat a galvanized pipe, make sure you're in a well ventilated area. Now on to that piece of half inch square.
So there it is. Just as simple as that. You needn't have to do everything over your anvil face freehand. And also, um, making a jig doesn't have to be anything too complicated. It could be something ridiculously simple like this. And it's especially helpful for uh, repetitious tasks like this to make the job just a little bit easier. Thanks for watching.